Hi guys, William Morris here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Tremori, which is a new trailer sound effects library made by Submority. So the library is a trailer toolkit slash sample pack delivered in the form of over 140 different WAV files and these are spread across 16 different sound categories. The library will take up just under one gigabyte of your hard drive space and it's also worth noting that the files are 96k uh, 24 bit which is really nice to see as the highest sample rate can help you out when you come to pitch shifting style processing so it's really nice that that's been uh, included at the time of this review tremori is on intro pricing at 59 dollars and that will move to a full price of 79 dollars on the 4th of september so uh, let's take a listen i'm using the cubase uh, media bay just because it lets us see the different waveforms and also you get to see some of the metadata and tagging that they've used to make the the library just a little bit more to uh, navigate and find the sounds that you want. So all the uh, 140 plus sounds are contained within this one big folder but they have been uh, broken down into the 16 different sound categories. Definitely covers the uh, the main bases of trailer sound effect type sounds that you'd expect to see. I'm gonna start with some booms. Yeah, nice little uh, range in there. Booms is obviously a category that's not usually terribly exciting because uh, there's only so much you can do with a, a really low subby hit. But yeah, these are really cool, uh, nice and clean. Those were the regular booms, but there's also some tonal ones and it's nice to see that they've been uh, marked with the note center that they're on. So this one's uh, based around A and this one's D. So let's just have a listen. Cool. All right, so uh, let's try out some of these Brahms. The first ones are aggressive. Nice, yeah, that's really cool. I'd say overall this library's maybe geared a bit more towards uh, the hybrid side of things. So I'm thinking more along the lines of uh, big hybrid action movies and uh, maybe some superhero stuff, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's a really kind of uh, synthy, brassy, really full frequency stuff going on there. Uh, let's take a listen to some more Brahms. Yeah, a lot of cut on these, uh, really aggressive. But there's also some softer ones, which is nice to see because I think sometimes in libraries they forget that we need uh, Act 1 and Act 2 where we might kind of want a Brahm, but it's not going to be a big full featured thing so let's take a listen to some softer ones so yeah these would be great in like an a or b section sort of thing nice to have those included one thing i would say for libraries with of this size you know because there's there's not sort of thousands of sounds that sometimes it's nice to have like a variation on uh, on each given sound so you know maybe where we see the aggressive version here there'll be a, a mid version and a softer one kind of thing all right so uh let's try some of these downers So these are kind of much a longer form down and not those sort of uh, quick almost half bar or full bar break ones you get before a, a section. But yeah, really cool sounding. It's nice even though there's, what, there's six down a sound here and they've all got a nice bit of variation to them and I've kind of seen that throughout this library is that 
although there's not a, a massive amount of sounds, that you know, there is a good amount of variation between them, which is always good to see. I personally sort of tend to go for libraries like this that are more uh, uh, quality over quantity sort of way of working. So next up we've got drones, which is probably one of the bigger categories. Let's just have a listen to some of these. So this first one uh, doesn't have a key labeling, so maybe it's a bit more atonal, but the, the majority do have, yeah, sort of a, a key center as it were. Which is kind of a bit more peaceful than I was expecting uh, so far. Yeah, a bit darker, kind of more mysterious on this one. That's cool, I like that one. So yeah, that was the uh, drones, a little bit more, yeah, kind of on the, not peaceful is probably the wrong word, but yeah, kind of not as dark as I was expecting. Uh, right, so let's do, the, the hit categories have a few sort of subcategories within them, but these are the hit accents. That's nice, I like that. It's almost like a chain drop sort of sound. I know it's based on a clap, but it's nice to kind of have those hits that aren't just, uh, you know, such a hard transition for everything. Cool, yeah, so we've got uh, woods, metals, that kind of thing in there. Uh, a couple of bell ones here. That's like a darker, detuned bell. Yeah, so these are kind of the bigger, bigger hits now. Nice. Yeah, these are this bit more organic than I was expecting actually for uh, some of the other kind of more hybrid sounds. Yeah, really cool. Let's go into some of the low ones. Yeah, nice. All right, so uh, we've got metal. And also punch hits. So these are going to be, I guess, more useful in faster sections where you don't want big tails and long release kind of sounds that are gonna uh, muddy up those uh, faster hits. That slam one's really nice. Uh, I also got a few sci-fi ones. Nice. I definitely say so far, I'm really impressed with the, the quality of the sounds. Yeah, really cool. That sort of fit right in the, the Brahm category from earlier. Really aggressive, really full frequency. Yeah, nice. Again, I think this might be one that would be cool to have alt versions on as well. So just like a, you know, slightly softer version for each one. You can kind of do this yourself to a certain extent, but your, your options are then a bit limited because I guess you'd sort of look at maybe filtering off some of the top end and softening the sound sort of thing. But it's not always as exciting as if you can do that with the uh, component parts. All right, so uh, we've only got three pings, but uh, so let's listen to all of them. That's really cool, I like that. I think I might have heard that in the uh, in the demos of this library, and I can see why people would, would pick it. It sounds like it comes from a, a, a vocally made sort of thing, which is cool. Yeah, let's try uh, a couple of the others. That's a nice, the extra stress draws one. All right, so uh, we've got some pulses. Cool to see the uh, BPMs listed and the key center as well. You know, these are all workflow things that really just help speed things up. Okay, 
Okay. Yeah. So the, not so much a pulse, I wouldn't say, but it's uh, yeah, more like a you know a sequence. Uh, let's listen to some more. Nice. Uh... That's cool. I like those sort of sounds. They almost sound like um, like really long slack wires from like a. Uh, telephone pole or something like that. That's nice as well. Yeah, cool. Nice pulses in there and nice uh, variation as well. Uh, let's do some reverse sounds. Nice, yeah, they're mostly sort of a hard tail sort of sound. All right, let's do uh, risers. I'm just skipping through these so we don't, you know, sit through the entire riser, but it's nice to see that they're kind of long as well, because sometimes, you know, you want those risers that sit under almost like a whole section. Let's do some more. Yeah, nice. You can tell that's going to cut through a mix really well as well. Yeah, that's cool. I like that one. Yeah, these are nice risers. Again, nice variation between... Uh, you're going to get uh, six six risers, but yeah, they're all, all got a real kind of different sound to them. All right, let's do, uh, let's do some of these signals. nice, I like that. I don't know if I call it a signal sound, but yeah, it's it's really cool. It's nice as well. Sonar sounds are always kind of really popular for, for pings. All right, let's uh, take a listen to some of these signatures. I like the band stuff. It's a good name, that industrialized elephant. <laughs> I was literally thinking it sounds like a, you know, a, a mech elephant or something like that. Yeah, these are really cool signatures, man. I like these. So uh, next we've got some stingers. So these are, I guess, uh, I'd say more like a transition sound, you know, they can sometimes help you blend from one section to another. Nice. All right, so uh, let's do some of these vocal sounds. Oh, that's interesting. That's got kind of a, yeah, jungle, almost tribal sort of vibe to it. That's interesting. I was maybe expecting the vocal stuff to have a bit more of a, I don't know if modern's the right word, but a, yeah, kind of less uh, ancient people's kind of sounding, which is what these sort of remind me of a little bit more. I'm picturing films like, uh, I don't know if you remember Apocalypto, the Mel Gibson movie from years ago, that kind of, that kind of vibe. Okay, moving on. Uh, so we've got some whooshes, then whoosh hits. Uh, so I'll do the whooshes first. It's nice to have these uh, washes separate because then you could maybe go through and start combining these washes with some of the hits from higher up and also maybe a ping and other stuff. And then you've got a way of creating sounds which are a bit more your own. 
All right, so uh, we're gonna finish with these whoosh hits and rolls. That's cool, I really like that. Yeah, nice. Again, some good variation in there. Uh, these feel, again, a bit more sort of more organic than I was expecting from some of the really hybrid uh, sort of Brahms and Megahorn stuff that we heard earlier. Uh, but I hope that gives you a good kind of overview of the library and the sort of sounds you can expect inside it. So I'm already actually do a, a free version of this library as well, just with reduced sounds in it. So that one's definitely worth uh, picking up and maybe trying out in your own productions and seeing if it works for you and then going for this library afterwards. But yeah, overall, I'd say this is a great library for anyone that's looking for mix-ready hybrid uh, trailer sound effects in a sort of pretty wide variety of categories. I can tell there's a real sort of focus on quality over quantity, which is always really nice to see. I think it just makes it easier to navigate smaller libraries that have a few great quality sounds with uh, variety to them as well. Everything's been uh, really nicely labeled and tagged, as you can see on the right here. Just another workflow thing that helps speed up your process. And also really nice to see the, the 96 kilohertz sample rate as well. It might be nice to see some more um, alt versions of some of these sounds. So, you know, softer versions or also uh, dry versions without the, the verb on and that kind of thing. And maybe even a few of the sort of more fully featured sounds broken down into two or three parts, you know, so with the some of the big Brahms or mega horns, you get the top element, mid element and a low element sort of thing. I think this just helps to get even more sort of use out of a library. But yeah, overall, uh, really impressed and I'm looking forward to see what these guys come up with next. But uh, I hope you found this uh, review helpful. Um, if you do have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And if not, I'll see you again on the next one.